offensive play as he extends the stick. To the front! Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Too many bodies in the way. Slick feed. Stopped by the goaltender. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Vancouver's on the attack. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Carries the puck up through center. Quick feed to O'Reilly. That's the way We all know that goals in the playoff series are so difficult to come by, James, as the ice closes up and everyone is being urgent and physical. They got the first one here. That's a good way to start. The Predators are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Pushed away in the neutral zone by Sissons. Nashville's got control of it now from their own end. Into the corner now. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Vancouver's got the puck. Here they come. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Nashville's got him along the wall. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Quick pass across to McKay. The Canucks are on the attack. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Denies him in close. Well, he gets a great read on that wrist shot, James, and sometimes it can be difficult because with a quick release, the shot can be disguised. But he does a great job of getting in front of it and making the save. Nashville's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Puts it away in his own end. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. The Predators get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. He was totally locked in on that play. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Quick pass to O'Reilly. And that goes off a stick. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Here's a chance. And that goes off, pours off a body. Here we go. Look at this. They are really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Now it's picked up by the defense. Handles the pass. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Pedersen's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. A chance in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Makes the save as that goes off the glove. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Nashville's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Moves the puck along the half wall. Too much traffic in the lane. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Sends a pass over. Oh, on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The Predators pick up steam and are on the attack. Taken here by Sissons. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is 
just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. The Predators have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. The Canucks win the faceoff at center. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Jostled off the puck. Takes a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Taken along the wall by McDonough, and it's a quick pass to Shen. And he takes the feed to his teammate, and that's off a stick. Penalty coming up here. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot and that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 one, one, where they were able to capitalize it's about opening up lanes getting the coverage to move around and then firing and executing when you have it and they send it down the ice nashville's got a hold of the puck now a quick pass to forsberg break away a center chance oh what a chance and that goes off target Sweet feed. Oh, what a save goal! Nice job to escape the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Puts it on net. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Pedersen's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Canucks have it now. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Moves it to Cole. What a steal in his own end. Hughes' penalty has almost expired. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute, but didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Picked up along the boards by Besser. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Evangelista's got the puck along the wing. Here's a chance! Oh, right off the cage! A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's gonna be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the masks are a lot better today. The Predators came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Miller. Nashville's got control of the puck. Turned aside with the glove by Demko. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Past the midway mark in this period, the Predators are in cruise control, leading it 3 0. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Officials stop the play and listen to this place erupt. Yeah, you know how you change the energy. All the fans are on their feet giving you a standing ovation, and that's just a great feeling. Unbelievable. Miller's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Canucks take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to McKay. And he keeps that one out. And the puck's booted away. Slides it over with pace to McKay. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Hughes is back on the ice. He's the captain of this team. He knows exactly what to do. A player that can settle him down, James. And he's going to have to do that if they want to climb out of this hole. Nashville's gained possession. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Scores! That's Ryan O'Reilly! When you're a butterfly goaltender and you drop into that position, it's all about playing your odds, making yourself as big as possible, and covering as much of the net as possible, James. But the shooter has a different idea. Great shot, it's accurate, and it finds a hole. 
The Predators have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Novak's won the draw. The Predators will lose a man tripping the call. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Good hit to pump him off the puck. The pass. Here's a short pass to the dunk. Shuts the door with a great save. Demko's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. There's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Canucks penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Time winding down here on this power play. They'll get a fresh set of legs here for this one last burst. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Puts the pass over. Denies him with the save. And some good footwork to kick it away. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Oh, he saved it! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Quick shot! Wow, what a stop by Demko! Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Bodies everywhere. Complete chaos. Multiple calls on the play. And the team is certainly going to be behind the eight ball as they have to kill a few off. Yossi's wheel zone ability means he's so fast even when skating with the puck. Pedersen's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. Trennan's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Nashville's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Hammers the shot, and that's off target as it hits a ball. They're looking to keep up the attack here on the power play. Less set up, more rapid fire against a goaltender who's already tired. Chase right inside! Stopped by the goaltender. What an incredible save in the high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Cost up possession of the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Pedersen. Inside the offensive end now, down the left. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Puck moved back to center, forcing him to regroup. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. Shuts it down, what a stop! Solid effort by the penalty-killing unit as the power play comes up empty. That's a great power play unit, James, and they're not going to feel great as they head off to the bench and it gets killed without the score. But they can keep their heads held high as they had a lot of execution. They found ways to get scoring opportunities on net. 
The Canucks looking against the half wall. Locks it down in front. Takes the pass. The Predators with playing in their own end. Moves the pass in front. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. And they win that draw at center. Takes the feed at center. No room for that one to get through. Quick feed to O'Reilly. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Changes here with the start of the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Predators came ready to play in that opening frame, James. They dominated possession. They were first to the puck, and they really set the pace in terms of their skating ability and their movement of the puck. They just need to manage that puck in the second and keep this game in their hands. We're still in the early stages of this period. Nashville's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The Predators play it along the boards. Knight was stunned in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Cuts to the point. And he gets in the lane to block that. And now he moves it quickly to Hoagland. O'Reilly's got it in the defensive zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Let's the wrister go. Oh, what a save in front. When a goaltender reads the play quickly, James, and they anticipate, they get to position quicker. When they get to position quicker, they get square to the shooter. That's exactly what he does here as he turns the wrister aside. Picked off by Miller. Solid hit on that play. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Canucks will play it against the boards. Quick pass to Trudden. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Takes a shot. Stopped by Sillis. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Slides the puck over to McDonough. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. One on one with the goaltender. He scores! Oh, yeah, what a finish! Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure, elevating the goaltender, finding the room, and burying it. Well, he does a great job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage, and he finds a way to break away from the pack. He's in on the breakaway, James. And what a battle it is. It's one that he wins, and he drives the puck home. Vancouver's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Evangelista. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Lots of time left in this period. The Canucks have a long way to go to try to get back into this one. Down by three. Puck picked up by Cole. Vancouver's through center and now in the offensive end. Nashville's looking to break out of their own end. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Here's the pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. 
Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Novak's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Evangelista. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Fires it on net. That goes wide. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Predators lead at 4-1. Bluger's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moves it to Hughes. The noise, and he got out of it. Locked him in the open ice. Here's a shot. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Nashville's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Scooped up along the wall by Forsberg. How did he stop that one? Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it makes the save. And he loses control of the puck. The Predators go to work on offense. Slides it quickly to Pedersen. Vancouver's playing it from the side. And it's kicked away. Quick pass over to Lozad. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Predators have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. The Canucks start with the puck in their own end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Great defensive effort with the stick. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James. And really, you take a penalty because you're chasing the game. And you want to get back into it. But this one, this one's a tough one to take. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by McDonough. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Sherwood. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. <laughs> Just a great heads-up play by Forsberg. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. 
And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all gonna backfire. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, those courts rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Sissons will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gains the zone along the white wall. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Bluegers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Nashville's won the draw in the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Stops him again. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Sissons is ready for the faceoff as we are about to resume this power play. Vancouver's got the win off that draw. From the open ice, they gain the line. Focus in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. But his team is oh, so how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. You have time and space. Take advantage with a shorty. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. The Canucks now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them, because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game, and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. A lot of work to do to make that happen. Loses his balance on the play. Yossi's got the puck in his own zone. With possession along the wall. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff. marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs and he finds the back of the net that's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game well once you get the puck into his hands you know that he's going north james because he's got incredible lightning fast speed and he shows it on this last play and is able to deliver just a gift of a pass and they execute for a goal puck grab by cole moves around along the half wall quick feed to Pedersen. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. And he takes the feed. Works it across to Cole. Grabs it in his own end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Friedman's so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Nashville's got the puck in the corner, and that's a smart heads-up play by Messer. On man rush. Big-time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. And it's a quick pass to Mikheyev. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Skates across the blue line. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. He 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Mikheyev. And that goes off the player. The Predators gain possession. Now a quick pass to Yulson. Back in the Tremendous stop by Saros. Gaining momentum along the boards. The Predators carry it along the wall. A chance in front. Couldn't complete the pass. The Canucks gain the zone. Fires it. Great blocker stop by Saros. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Slides the puck ahead to Jankowski. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle and goes sideways. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. The Predators get a hold of the puck. Second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and you'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. A little four on four hockey as both teams step inside the face off circle. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense has the forwards, but the forwards to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Now into the offensive zone to the right side. That's and that goes off some of the front and doesn't reach the net. Puck moved over to Heronic. Vancouver's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. What a steal in his own end. Get it out of there. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are just... Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way 
to make that save incredible, James. Shot! And he turned that one aside. Vancouver's got possession of the fight. Novak's almost back on the ice. Great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. The Canucks are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Incredible save, James. Nashville's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Puck scooped up by Shen. Good use of the body on the play. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Predators lead it here early in the third period. They have been dominant in the offensive area. Find a way to play even strength. 
Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit right here. The power play creates so much energy, and when it's just average, you can feel a bit deflated. Everyone expects a power play to score all the time, but guess what? It doesn't. Big play inside the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Directed over to Hughes. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Miller's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Predators will go to work here in the offensive zone. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with a tired group that they're playing against. And a stiff break set up. Great pressure on the offensive end by Suter. Kicked away. Nice pad saved by the goaltender. Sissons gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. And they win the defensive zone face-off. And they manage to clear it. Sissons plays the puck. The Canucks have it now. Great reach with the poke check by Hoaglander. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Quick pass to Patterson. Shot! Grabbed along the board by Hoaglander. but you also need structure and the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Canucks don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Broken up in the neutral zone by Hoaglander. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Slides the puck over. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Shot. Good stop by the Smith. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Nashville's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. O'Reilly's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. The Predators have it against the wall. Moves it to Nyquist. Grabs the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that's offside, stopping the play. Nashville's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Miller's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Saros has been busy tonight, and he'll hang on for the whistle. But it almost looks effortless in terms of his rebound control. He has been able to hold on James at will. He elects to do it here. Nice timing. Everyone gets a rest. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Yossi's got it in the defensive end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides it across to Evangelista. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Friedman's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And now he moves it to Cole. Here's the official call. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Canucks send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. For many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Comes out to play the puck. McKay has got control of it now behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Besser. 
And that's poked away. Moves the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Well, James, sometimes on a power play with more time to spend. It's in the back of the net. for himself and his teammates. Vancouver's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get the tender out. and what a night he's had between the pipes. Well, another time I say, love the way he holds on to this puck. He recognizes that he doesn't want to mishandle it, just holds on, makes the safe play. And sometimes the safe one's the right one, especially when you're a tight game in the third. Chris shot from the slot. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Soros can be a difference maker for this team because he's so good at coming up with a stop on cross crease chances. And that's his post to post zone ability, guys. You need your goalie to be sharp against those grade A scoring chances, and he's usually right there for him. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. O'Reilly's got the puck. And that pass is hit, Mr. Flepton. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Passes it over to Friedman. Takes a shot. Turns aside with that club by Seros. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Nashville's going to start with the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Cole. Centering pass! Oh, and they couldn't complete that. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. And now it's to Trenton. Toss up the puck after that hit. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Sissons is all skills. You know that back in the day, he's been working on it collectively, and it shows in his game. But right here, he just gets caught up in a tight space and loses the puck. Puck picked up by Shen. Nashville's looking to break out. Here they come up along the wing. Taken along the wall by Friedman. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Passes it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Hughes grabs the puck inside his own territory. The Canucks move it ahead. Great read with the stick. Picked up along the boards by Forsberg. The Predators gain possession in their own end. The Predators gain control of the puck. The Canucks grab possession of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Mikheyev. Miller's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the call is. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Yossi's had a great showing, and you can see it on the score sheet, guys. He even used his zone ability to help get him there. Here's a short pass to Suter. Blocked in traffic. Nashville's got possession while under man. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. The 
Canucks are across the line and into the offensive end. They're going to have to find a way to get a goal here critically as they've got the extra attacker out. And now it's over to Lafferty. Puts it on that. Misses a golden opportunity there. That's not how you get back in the game in the third period when you're trailing. You get those opportunities, you have to convert. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. O'Reilly's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. And now he angles it across to Besser. Here's a chance! Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow! Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Well, there's no sitting back with the extra attacker about. It's all about urgency, mean two, three on a puck, finding ways for the retrieval, and then going north, heading north to be able to execute. I mean, you needed a goal. You gotta find a way to attack the net. The Canucks coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Puts it into the key. And he has to And they certainly find the opportunity to get it to the middle of the ice, and man, do they bury it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. This has been a barn burner tonight as the horn sounds, and we are going time. If you thought this was dramatic, you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay with us. Are you hashtagging overtime challenge on social media? Because they're ready to get it underway. The puck is dropped. Next goal wins. to Glass, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Moves it to McKay. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Oh, lightning quick reflexes on the one-timer! A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And they win the draw on their own end. Goes right to the crease. And he shuts the door again. 
Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. A critical draw here. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Across the line, down the left wall. Close save, and he made it look simple. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Predators come up with the defensive zone draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Tries to get the puck to Sissons. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. Sends it in front. Cheryl, you look at the complete buy-in for this team, the way they played so poised in overtime. This is why they're leading this series. Well, yeah, and how about on the road, right? I mean, it's more than skill. It's a mindset. You want to take it. You want to own it. And that's exactly what they did tonight. for joining us for this postseason action and we will see you at the next playoff game see you, everybody